13 Tips to Sleep Better at Night First, Reduce Blue Light Exposure The blue glow from a smartphone, tablet, or other digital device near your bed may hurt your sleep. This is due to influence on your circadian rhythm, tricking the human brain into thinking it's still daytime. This reduces hormones like melatonin that help you relax and get deep sleep. Blue light, which gadgets like smartphones and computers emit in huge amounts, may be the worst in this regard. Second, don't drink coffee in evening. Caffeine has numerous benefits. One cap of coffee can boost focus, energy, and sports performance. However, if consumed drinks with caffeine late in nighttime, it can stimulate your nervous system, which will lead to situation when your body will not be able naturally relax at night. In one research, consuming caffeine up to six hours before bed significantly worsens sleep quality. Caffeine can stay elevated in your blood for six to eight hours. Therefore, drinking large amounts of coffee after 3 to 4 p.m. is not recommended if you are sensitive to caffeine or have sleep issues. If you do crave a cup of coffee in the late afternoon or evening, stick with decaffeinated coffee. Third, reduce irregular or long daytime naps. In one hand, short power naps has positive impact on people's well-being. In other hand, long or irregular napping during the day can negatively affect your sleep. Sleeping during a day can confuse your internal clock that can lead to a situation when you will struggle to sleep at night. In fact, within a scholarly study, participants ended up being sleepier during day after taking daytime naps. Another scholarly study noted that napping for 30 minutes or less can boost daytime brain function, however longer naps can negatively affect your health and sleep quality. Enough hand, some studies demonstrate that some types of people that are being used to taking regular daytime naps do not experience poor sleep quality or disrupted sleep during the nighttime. If you used to take regular daytime naps and did not feel any issues with sleeping, you should not worry. Effects of napping can vary from people to people and depend from individual features, Fourth, body clock. Try to go to sleep and wake up approximately at the same time every day, even on weekends. This routine will get your brain and body used to being on a healthy snooze-wake schedule. In time, you'll be able to nod off quickly and rest soundly through the night. Being consistent with your sleep and waking times can aid long-term sleep quality. One study noted that participants who had irregular sleeping patterns and went to bed late on the weekends reported poor sleep. Other studies have highlighted that irregular sleep patterns can alter your circadian rhythm and levels of melatonin which signal your brain to sleep. In situation when you struggle with sleep, try to enter the habit to getting up and going to sleep at similar times. After some time, you might wake up without need of alarm. Fifth. Don't drink alcohol. Alcohol can help you sleep at night, but be careful, after its initial effects take off, it can make you wake up more often overnight. Alcohol may cause or increase the symptoms of sleep apnea, snoring, and disrupted sleep patterns. It also alters nighttime melatonin production, which plays a key role in your body's circadian rhythm. Another study found that alcohol consumption at night decrease the natural nighttime elevations in human growth hormone which plays a role in your circadian rhythm and has many other key functions sixth optimize your bedroom environment many persons believe that the bedroom environment the key factor in getting a good night's sleep these factors include temperature noise external lights and furniture arrangement numerous studies make clear that external noise from traffic might lead to poor sleep and in long term to issues with health. Some scientists conducted research and conclude that around 50% of participants noticed improved sleep quality when noise and light diminished. To optimize your bedroom environment, try to minimize external noise, light, and artificial lights from devices like alarm clocks. Make sure that your bedroom is a quiet, relaxing, clean, and enjoyable place. 7. Keep your room cold. If you prefer when the temperature of your bedroom is warm, that is a might be a bad news for you. Researchers say that bedroom temperature can profoundly affect sleep quality. In some location, with high summer temperature, you can experience difficulties to secure a good night's sleep when it's too warm. 
One study discovered that bedroom temperature afflicted sleep quality much more than external noise. Other studies reveal that increased bedroom and body's temperature can decrease sleep quality and increase wakefulness. 8. Late Night Snack Don't eat heavy foods and big meals too late. They overload your digestive tract, which impacts how well you sleep. Have a light evening snack of cereal with milk or crackers and cheese instead. In one study, a higher carb meal eaten four hours before bed helped people fall asleep faster. Interestingly, one study found out that a low-carb diet also improved sleep, indicating that carbs aren't always necessary if you're used to a minimal carb diet especially. 9. Free your mind. Put aside any ongoing work, touchy discussions, or complicated decisions two to three hours before sleeping. If you have a lot in your thoughts, just write it down and release it. Then, about an full hour before going to sleep, read something calming, meditate, listen to quiet music, or take a warm bath. Relaxation techniques before bed have already been demonstrated that can boost sleep quality. In a one study, a soothing massage improved sleep quality in people who were ill. Strategies include listening to relaxing music, reading a written book, going for a hot bath, meditating, yoga breathing, and visualization. Try different methods and discover what works best for you. 10. Have a relaxing shower or bath. A relaxing bath or shower is another popular way to sleep better. Studies indicate that they can help improve overall sleep quality and help people especially older adults fall asleep faster. Taking a hot bath 90 minutes before bed will improve sleep quality and help people get more deep sleep. Alternatively, if you don't want to take a full bath at night, simply bathing your feet in hot water can help you relax and improve sleep. 11. Seal your mattress. Sneezes, sniffles, as well as itchiness from allergies can result in lousy shut eye. Your cushion or mattress may be the reason of this. Over time, it can fill with mold, dust mite droppings, as well as various other things that may cause an allergy. Seal your mattress, box springs, as well as pillows to prevent it. In one hand, new bed mattress reduce pain in the back by 57%, shoulder discomfort by 60%, back tightness by 59%, and improved sleep quality by 60%. In other hand, low-quality bed linen can lead to increased lower back pain. If you are planning update your bedding, base your choice on individual preference. 12. Work out wisely. Regular exercise can significantly improve your sleeping, but only if you don't do it few hours before bedtime. A post-workout burst of energy can have negatively affect your sleeping. Try to finish any vigorous exercise three to four hours just before you heading to bed. It could enhance all areas of sleep and has been used to lessen symptoms of insomnia. That exercise almost have time that need to fall asleep and provided 41 more minutes of sleep during the night. For people with extreme insomnia, exercise offered more benefits than most drugs. Exercise reduced time to fall asleep by 55%, total night wakefulness by 30%, and anxiety by 15%, while increasing total sleep time by 18%. Although daily exercise is key for a great night's sleep, performing less than 4 hours before sleep can lead to issues. This is due to the stimulatory effect of exercise, which increases hormones like epinephrine and adrenaline. 13. Don't drink too much liquids before bed. Wish to reduce your probabilities of nighttime trips to the bathroom? Do not drink anything in the last two hours before to bed. If you need to wake up during the night, it can be hard to get back to sleep quickly. Drinking huge amounts of fluids before bed can cause similar symptoms, however some individuals are more sensitive than others. Although hydration is important for your health, it's a good idea to minimize your liquid consumption in the late evening. In addition, you must make a habit to use the bathroom right before going to sleep, as this may decrease your chances of waking in the evening.